Joe and I have had conversations about visioning what is the world going to look like in five to ten years from the way we connect with consumers and we connect with customers and we connect with suppliers and we connect with each other. And in that visioning, what are the kinds of steps that Campbell's needs to take to win in that new world? Once you get the back office covered and you, you understand your transactions and, and the basic flow of your work, then you can start focusing on your customers and consumers more. And I think that's where we are. It's a place that uh, I think drives the most value for our company. One of our key business goals is accelerating innovation. It's a huge strategic platform for the entire company globally. And IT has been instrumental in helping us set up the process for innovation, uh, looking at the different stage gates for building a pipeline, all the way through commercialization of multiple projects. In addition, there are connection with the consumer. In today's world, to have an accelerated innovation pipeline, you really have to be in touch with consumer needs. And the analytics that IT provides as a business partner are unbelievable in terms of helping us get those insights. There's too much information available to not take advantage of it. So understanding where your inventories are, looking for better trade models or pricing models so that you have there's more value to the customers and to ourselves and, and creating a dialogue that's information based, based versus only product based, I think changes the discussion. There's more that we can do together to create value to the consumers if we know more about uh, the information that exists in both organizations. For example, it can change the way you work with a customer. Uh, typically you can waste a lot of time between a customer if you're arguing about when an order shipped and when it's going to deliver. If you can uh, practice good data synchronization and uh, share information across the desk in advance of the sales call, you can develop the rapport with the customer on a whole joint business plan and devote the time to something that's really going to drive growth as opposed to worrying about chasing down an order. We find ourselves in the workforce today with multiple generations and the way multiple generations communicate is different depending upon how you were brought up and what you got comfortable with. And we have millennials now entering our workforce who from the time they were in the crib <laughs> were working on a Blackberry or a baby version of a Blackberry. So they communicate differently, they connect differently, and their expectations in the workplace are different. And companies that are going to be good cultures for multiple generations have to be sensitive to that. And I think IT can play a huge role in teaching the, the community at large, how to embrace millennials into our culture and make sure that they perform here. Also, as a company, we're trying to build a culture of consideration. So if you think about work-life integration, having, having the ability to work anywhere so that people can balance out um, mm -hmm. in their professional That's and personal important. lives and, and be, a, be a place that people want to come to work because we, we're thoughtful and considerate about their full life and um, having the opportunity to, to provide those capabilities for our company and, and have it be expected is great because, it, again, it, it, it helps keep us contemporary. It helps us think about everybody in the company all the time. And we're constantly learning um, or figuring out new ways of working together. And it also drives engagement. And if you have high engagement, you can leverage that for higher performance. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having us. It's been a pleasure being here. And hopefully our insights will inspire others.